Hey, welcome back to Powered by 8 Racing YouTube channel. I am going to do a small series on aligning the car. And I will go through camber adjustments, caster adjustments, toe adjustments. I don't think I'm going to do too much corner balance. And I might show you a little bit, but I'm not going to do that because I don't need to adjust my corner balance right now on the car. So I don't want to mess with it too much, but I can kind of go through some of the principles with the stuff off the car. And then I might do a little bit of bump steer explanation on how to adjust it. Now, I don't plan on this series being a in-depth suspension alignment uh, series. There's a lot of people on YouTube that have already made those types of videos and know a whole heck of a lot more about those things than myself. What I am shooting for are very specific numbers on how to achieve those numbers. Um, if you want to know why those numbers are important, then I would watch maybe like Kyle Engineering or someone like that that really digs into uh, the importance of those numbers in a lot more uh, in depth with diagrams and math and other things that I'm not going to show you. But what I'm going to do is I need to get my scales set up. I need to get the pads set up to get a level surface. So I'll show you how I create a level surface because my garage floor isn't level. And I will show you how I box up the car with the uh, BG Racing Smart Strings. I think that's a competitor brand, but anyways, a string. And then we will check our toes. I'll put the hub plates on. You'll see all that good stuff. But anyways, I am going to lift the car up. I'm gonna disconnect the sway bars and then I'm going to get the pads level and then I'm going to put the uh, hub stands on. And so I'm going to break this up into a couple different videos. Maybe they'll be really short. A couple of the videos will be short, like uh, I'll split it up into um, level on the pads, uh, creating the box, checking your camber, checking your caster, uh, checking your toe. And I'll, and I'll try to split them up so they're like pretty short videos and not very long uh, and then if people want to reference just a very specific part of the video later they can because it'll just be a quick little playlist of, of videos uh, versus a 30 minute thing they've got to jump through and whatnot so with that said let me get the car up and i will well before i check let me show you what i got here power by your old show this is my cart of alignment stuff. So I've got my strings here. I got my laser level there. I've got a tape measure, uh, got my hub stands down there. Inside there, I've got my uh, parts of my hub stands for the pro sticks and stuff like that, the strings and some of the tools for the laser. Um, that plate is for the bump steer. I have to use a wheel space for bump steer also and whatnot, but all of my alignment tools are on this rack. So I don't have to go chasing things down. I have them with me and I can push them out of the way when I don't need them. So with that said, now I'm gonna go disconnect the sway bars and then we'll move on to leveling the pads. All right, so I just put the pads there just to mark where they're going to set without the hub stands on. And the only reason I don't have the hub stands on yet is because I have a habit of smashing my head on them when I am setting up the scales. So I don't put them on, so I don't hit my head, but you can put them on first if you want to. So I've got those lined up and then let me show you what I do for the lasers. All right, so, all right, so I'm gonna show you a very, very crude explanation about what I'm going to do. Um, I'll show you closer when we're down there, but I wanted to show you up here where it's a little bit smaller and easier to see. So I've got these laser, um, I don't know what they're called. Um, they detect where the laser is and it gives you a, a, a measurement of elevation. So these will go on all four corners of the car. And then I have this little like RV. It's, I think it's from like an RV, but it shows you both, um, I don't know, both axes of, of level so that you can get everything kind of um, leveled at the same time. So that'll go on the scale pad and then those will be on each scale pad as well. Then when you have the 
laser, I don't know if it'll show it or not. Let's see where this shows up. But you'll see, let me move it over here, but you'll see the line on each spot of the table. And then what you'll do is you will put this on a pad that you're leveling and you'll want to get all your elevations right. So you'll find out which one, like so, for instance, this one's at one inch, this one's at one inch, this one's at one and a eighth or sixteenth, that's at one and a sixteenth. So then if that were the case, then these ones you would want to raise or lower those a sixteenth. Then once you do that, you get your elevations, you put this on there and you level out that pad and then you level out that pad and then you level out that pad. And then that's how you'll get it. We're gonna do it on a much bigger scale, obviously, for the car, but this is what we're shooting for. We'll put it on the ground, we'll get the laser, and we'll see at what mark makes the most sense to adjust our pads to, and then that'll become our measurement for what we're gonna to try to get all of them to be on. And then that'll be a flat surface. Uh, uh, on the four pads will be a flat surface. So let's move to the car and we'll show you how that goes. All right, so you probably can't see it in the camera. There's a line here, there's a line there, a line here and here. Let me shut the lights off. You'll probably be able to see it a little bit better. This is very Tronish. Um, but nonetheless, you can see that there are the, the three lights, or excuse me, the four lights and then the one that shoots down the middle. So let me turn the light back on and uh, and then I'm going to get up close so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Obviously you can't get in front of the laser, but you'll see this one is at six. The back left is at six. That one is also at six. And this one is a little high. So you'll see this is just a barely a little bit high. I could probably leave it, but for the sake of things, let's go ahead and lower it down. So basically all I'm going to do is lower the whole pad, or I mean raise up the whole pad. So all I did was raise the front, so you see it drop down there. So I'm going to low, raise up the rear. Okay, now we're on six. Now, we're going to do this for the rest of them, but since we're working on this one, we don't want to lose our elevation. I'm going to take my little level device. Here's what I'm looking at. So you can see that just this part right here is a little high. So we're going to come down uh, in the front or we want to come up in the rear. Uh, in the rear. But what we want to make sure that we're doing, we want to make sure that we keep that at six. So let's, we're going to do a little bit of both. So let's. We're going to come down in the front. Okay, that put us right back to there. And let's come back up in the back. That's kicking that out. Okay, that's a little bit too aggressive. So let's come back up a little bit in the front. Right about there. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. So now we're at right at six and you'll notice that our pad is now pretty much level. So we'll do that for the other three. So this one we already knew was at the six mark and that one is level. That one is level. That one's level. My pads have been set for this, uh, for my car. It's been set for my floor, uh, or else that would have taken a lot longer. Now, 
The principle is the same. I like to almost, so how I would have normally have adjusted those is I would have done it in corners. So I almost like you would corner balance the car. And that would be if I adjusted two corners, I would lower two corners or I would raise two corners and lower the other two corners. And that usually keeps the elevation uh, in check when you're trying to level it. So um, it just so happens this front one though, that one uh, had gotten bumped a little bit and that's why it needed to be just adjusted a little bit. But now we're, we're flat. All of these pads are pretty much level with each other. So we can move on to putting the hub stands on the car, getting that set and putting the strings on the car. So that's the next step. All right, so on the hub stands, I have them labeled. So this is the left front. All right, so that's what the hub stands do for you. Now, my car with these hub stands, that is actual ride height obviously elevated on the stands, but as far as rake is concerned, these mimic my uh, one, it mimics the, uh... all right, so with the car on the ground, obviously with my hub stands, this is exactly how the car sits. If it had tires on it, it has uh, where the patch sits because I can adjust my uh, offset for my wheels. Uh, so exactly where this is center line of the wheel is right there. And then also my ride height is set by the front holes that are right here. And the rear is the same way. So that's how I know that this is ready to go. And then you can see here, I always label left rear, left front, right rear. So they're always in the same spot on the car. So with the hub stands, I have the uh, alignment sticks. So let me grab those, I'll put them on and I'll show you what we do next. So these are the pro sticks and this is what we set our toe off of. So I don't have to use tape measures, I'll use this. So we take these caps off. These slide right on like this. Let's get it lined up. All right, we will tighten these guys down. And we'll do that for the other three. And I'll be right back to this one when that's done. All right, that took all but 30 seconds. I didn't make you watch it. All right, so to get toe, on these, if you watch the other video, you'll know what we do is we stick one here and then we would stick one here. And then where our string lies is how we know what toe we have. Um, when we're setting up our strings, we only use one. We stick it in the middle. We tighten this bad boy down. And then what this does is it's right on the center of the hub and then we know how we're gonna create our box off the center of our hubs. So I'm gonna pull this one off also, and I'm gonna put one of these on the center of all four corners, and I will be back. So let me give you a walk around here. So you'll see that I have one on the center of each of the pro sticks. There's one there, and there's the last one there. So then how those work is once we put our string stands on the car and we put our bar across the front and we run our string down, those strings will come from the front bar along there all the way down across that one and then to the back bar. And then what we'll do is we will adjust this bar and really you can get it so that it's um, set right so if you want this to be on 23 and that on 23 then you can do that and i guess you would do that if you're setting your thrust angle but the important thing once your thrust angle is set is that as long as these two are at 22 these two can be at 24 because you're measuring toe independently and it doesn't really matter if they're exactly the same now if you really want them both to be the same 
then you can take the extra time and do that, but uh, it's not necessarily needed. Uh, so let's get our box frames. We'll put them on the front and on the rear. So basically what you'll see is, you're just gonna play with this. So you see this is about uh, 20, what, three? We'll see what this one is back here now. So that one's 30. So we will move this in to about 23 also. So about 24, 23 there now. This will be different. This won't be right on either. Well, that's pretty close. So, I mean, that one's at 23. Let's see if you can see it. It's about 22 and a half. And then this one is about 21. So we'll move this one just a little bit. So now we're at 22. So Let me see, it's about 22 and a half, but that moved the other side now. See, now we're at 20 on this side, see? So you can see how it makes a huge difference. So I'm just gonna do that. Let me back this up. Let me go align this up for you. All right, so they're all set, and I kind of misspoke. So the front two need to be the same, the back two need to be the same because dimensionally the wheelbase is a little bit different. So um, like I have to use a spacer out here for these uh, um, stand. So obviously they're not gonna be exactly in line with the rear. So front two need to match, rear two need to match, and then you should essentially have a box. So you'll see here, this is about 21, depending on how you look at it. And then the front right is also about 21, depending on how you look at it. Obviously, there's some toe in the car, so it doesn't show it. And then this one is about 23-ish. And then you'll see this side is the same 23-ish. So now that we have a box around the car, now we can move on to setting our toe. I'm going to uh, take a break from here and I'm gonna pick it up in a, another video. Power by your old shoes.